Thank you, veterans, for your service. Yay! Drivers, start your engines. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Florida Governor's Cup weekend is once again underway here at the New Smyrna Speedway. Prelude to the Cup, taking the green. Who's going to get the jump down into turn number one? Way up the track is Sutton in the 26. Jason Vale gets the break and away with a lead down the back straightaway. Sozio with a runoff, turn number two. Here comes the 16 to the inside of the 25 of Michelle for fourth. Brad May going to try to follow him through. We've got a line of cars. Back to the loop position. We're going to get by Gavin Michelle's 25. Battle between the nines. Anthony Cataldi in that black number nine. Look at the inside of Brad May's white number nine. Cataldi with a bold move in turn three. Going to move up a spot. May going to try to cross him over. Cataldi hunting for the fifth spot on Sozu. He's got a nose to the inside. He's got a big run in turn three. That number nine car getting into the corners very well. Cataldi up to fifth. Dog all over the back of Sozio. A little contact here as they come out of turn four. Sliding off the corner of Sozio. Dog with a run heading into turn number one. Battle for the sixth spot. The 08 should grab the position here off two. He does. Sozio drops one. And here's the 25 for second in turn three. Big move for Gavin Michelle's number 25. A loose down on the bottom. Good race here. Side by side battle for the runner up spot. Gavin Bushell, a tenth of a second quicker than the 407. Jason Bale, last lap by. Still watching the battle for third. It's car number 25, Gavin Bushell, fastest car on the racetrack. Plenty of time to close in. Let's see if he can get there. Bulger trying to hang on to third. Big move for Dawson Sutton going into turn number one. Bulger going to use the high side momentum, try to hold him off. And here comes that 25 car. And up to third, it is Dawson Sutton. Hudson Bolger going to try to crossover move here off turn number four. He's got a run going into turn number one. Pretty good action here for third. Sutton going to use the middle of the racetrack and should have the momentum to take off down the back straightaway into third. Michelle with the nose looking to the inside of Vail. Michelle's got the faster car right now and dives into turn number one for the lead. Gavin, Michelle in the 25, looking to take the lead away from Vail. Not going to get him that time. Vail with a high side momentum. Holds on to the top spot. Michelle with a run. Gavin Michelle in the 25, looking to pull even with the 407. Vail still able to hold him off for now. Vail gets a good run off the corner. And once again, Vail will hang on to lead this lap. Good racing in the prelude of the cup. Good clean race thus far. Michelle has a nose to the inside. He's to the numbers. For the lead in turn three, Michelle might be able to get him this time. New leader, Gavin Michelle in the 25. He'll officially take the lead here with 79 laps complete. Things settle down again, watching the battle. Off turn four, Brad May in the nine, Nicholas Noggle zero, eight, four, six. Brad May with a good run through one and two, but Noggle over the power off. The corner on the high side and hold that position. Ten laps to go. And the leader is on the back bumper of Nicholas Noggle, who rides in seventh. Michelle gets a run. Gavin yeah, Michelle's got to be careful around these lap cars because those guys are still battling for position as well. The 08 starting to drop back. Michelle gets around our seventh place car and sets his sights on Brad May inside of 10 laps remaining. Again, on the back bumper of track champion Brad May in front of the nine. May runs in sixth. Jason Vale still trying to work through that traffic. He has fallen back as the white flag getting ready to fly. One lap to go for Gavin Michelle in the 25. People will watch this back and think Brad May just took the white flag, but he's just trying to stay on the lead lap tonight as Gavin Michelle looks for his first career victory here on the high banks. Into three for the final time, no pressure. Off turn number four to win the prelude to the Cup 100, Gavin Michelle gets it done. Ladies and gentlemen, here he comes. Put your hands together for Gavin Michelle in car number 25. What's it mean to you to get a win here at this speedway just down the road from Daytona in the shadows of that famous speedway and on Governor's Cup weekend to boot? Uh, it feels really good. You know, uh, got a win stripped away from us at Five Flags the other week and uh, 
feels good and uh, a little bit before speed week, so we should carry that momentum there. We were headed to Pensacola to test and turned around and came back. Uh, yeah, it'd probably be a little better if we worked on it, but uh, <laughs> it's new to us. We're still learning. We've struggled here before, so come out P3, that's pretty solid. No damage going to the, snow, the snowflake and hopefully go get a win there. All right, we, we have our winner down here. Ma'am, what's your name? <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. I know, right? Patricia. Patricia, where are you from? Satellite Beach, Florida. And are you having fun tonight? I mean, you got to be now. I, yes. <laughs> that, that's what we like to hear. Enjoy the rest of the night and enjoy your money. Thank you so much. Jags. Shop to support the channel with equipment purchases at no additional cost to you. Get discounts and shipping deals site-wide on what you need today using jags.speedwayvideo.org. Field is set. Pace car set to peel off. Dalton Nelson and Bruce Bennett lead us down to the double greens and we are underway. Field able to tiptoe off turn two, make it around. Good battle for the lead. You know, open wheel cars, you don't want to touch wheels, so you can't really lean on each other. Bennett's been fast all weekend and he's up on that outside roof. He can make it stick. Can he get a run? He's got a launch here off two. And Nelson. We're at the bottom of the racetrack, still hanging on to the top spot. Simon's over the inside of Bennett for second. Bennett's going to try to hold him at bay. Simon's with a good launch off the corner. Crom's going to get by Grimm here down the back straight away. And Simon's gets by the 24. Bruce Bennett for second. Dalton Nelson still leading with the battle for second. Heats up again in turn number four. Bruce Bennett with a power move here, passing Jerry. Simon's down the main straight away. Meanwhile, it's still the 94. Dalton Nelson showing away. Greg Crom sitting back in the fourth spot. LJ Grimm hanging on to fifth. Greg Crom with a 23 on one, the fastest car out on the speedway right now. That, if he could just get that thing to qualify, Greg Crom might have one of these go his way. Three wide here on the front straightaway for a moment as Shane Held and Brighton Horner flash around the 16 of Gaten. That was wild. Nelson streaks by and leads another lap. Side by side battle for sixth. Shane Held, 33 on the outside, 21 Brighton Horner, a little bit wiggly on the bottom, but door to door. Held the veteran, and they take that sixth position back to the back bumper. It is Bennett all over Dalton Nelson. 49 laps to be 26 to go. Great race at the front of the field. Down on the apron of the racetrack they go in turn three. And Bennett gets loose, and in the wall is Alan Bruns. Bruns in the wall in the front straightaway, and that'll bring the caution out. The 4B of Alan Bruns gets the wall coming down the front straightaway, and the yellow flies with 25 laps to go. Green flag back in the air for the modifiers. Greg Rom was not going to get launched. Spun the tires a little bit coming up through the gears. And side by side for the lead. Shane held sideways, but hangs on to it in the 33. Out in front by half a car, the 24 of... Bruce Bennett, Dalton Nelson going to pedal back to the inside. And new leader at the line, Bennett takes away with 25 to go. Battle this one looks like it'll be for the third spot as Bruce Bennett has really pulled away. Of course, a yellow or an incident out there. It changes everything. Oh, Simons gets a piece of the wall. Simons nudges the wall with the right front tire. And here comes Greg Crom for third. Crom sends it into one. And all the momentum is broken for car number 35. Simons with a moment. Almost had the same thing happen to him that Alan Bruns did. Coming off turn number four, a dominant performance for car number 24. Bruce Bennett takes home the win. Ladies and gentlemen, here he comes, makes some noise once again for your winner, Bruce Bennett in car number 24. Still struggling with the car a little bit. I mean, it's too tight in the middle, and I'm blowing the tires off and baby, basically just babying it around there. And uh, I don't think it's Cody Stickler fast, so we're going to keep on working on it. Do you think if you went to the outside on the restart, you could have held them off? or? It was just got better as the run went on. Yeah, it seemed like his car got better or mine just fell off that much. Um, we normally run 50 laps on the bull rings. We don't get over here a lot for these longer races, and I think that showed up. The car really fell off right about a lap 50. Um, I guess any night you wind up on the front stretch, a good night, but I finished second over here, I think, three or four times in a row, so it's starting to get a little frustrating. Looks like you were hanging on to this thing those last couple laps, but congratulations on third and, most importantly, the championship here this year. Yeah, that's great. Uh, would have liked to run better. We chased this thing all weekend, man. This racetrack is uh, right now. It's it's falling off. It's very slow, and uh, we're really we were really tight, tight, tight. So after qualifying, we we slung everything at it, and 
We got a loose, loose, loose. Local support classes coming up. These are the drivers that support us each and every Saturday night during our weekly racing program. So we hope you'll support them as well. You know, our goal is to give the customer what they want, when they want it, at the price they want to pay, and then follow it up with just the absolute best customer service. You can find the same part at a hundred different places, but if you find it for less, we're going to match it and we're going to guarantee it. We're going to ship the product same day. We are all about the customer, period. And when you have a question, the associate you're talking to, he's got a car in his garage that he's working on. So when you're talking to Jags, you're talking right to the shop.